Yo dog, Kenny Bechet here, Next Level Painting, hitting you up with another tutorial on the literal best of all days. We are literally doing something completely different. We've never done this before on the channel. This is the first commission tutorial. One of my friends reached out to me, asked me if I would paint a death cup in Marine and if I would paint it white of all things instead of the normal black. I was like, yo, my brother, I would love to. That's my dream. But unfortunately, uh, I can only do tutorials of the commissions that I, that I paint because there's no other way to stay on track financially uh, and keep the lights on. That's what Patreon is all about. My personal crowdfunding page is about getting me to a financial place through pledges, uh, personal goals that I can just do nothing but requests. I'll, that's the dream. Next Level Painting will eventually be requests only. We won't ever do a video that you guys didn't ask me to do. Until that day though, we do have this new option that we just started where we can do commission tutorials. Here's the first one. I'm actually going to make this inaugural. I'm going to do a multi-part series for my brother. And we're going to be doing um, the be very beginning of the project today. I'm going to show you what paints you need. Very simple. I'm going to show you how to build the model. Uh, all the techniques that I've learned for all the years of painting that make it easy for me. So if you're, if you're a beginner, this is going to be a great video for you. And if you're advanced, just hang in there. I'm going to show you a couple advanced te uh, techniques. I'm also going to give you the intel on what paints we're going to be using for next week's video. So go out and buy those paints. Be ready to follow along at home. This is gonna be a good video. It's gonna be the first of its kind. I wanna thank you guys for giving it a chance. Uh, give me the opportunity to grow. Uh, 2016 already turned into a great year. Uh, by this point, I should be in Los Angeles. I recorded three of my tutorials ahead of time. Packed up my Beats Laboratory. Moved from Durham, North Carolina, all the way to Los Angeles. If you guys don't hear from me in a week, I've been taken. All right, obviously I recommend getting this color set right here uh, from P3. We're gonna be using these colors for this project. So don't panic if you don't have them yet. You can buy that really cheap on eBay or Amazon. I'm gonna show you what, how I'm gonna build and prep the Death Company models for this alternate color scheme. Now, this all came from a client, obviously, and different levels of disrepair. Um, so I'm going through and I'm clipping all the excess bullshit off of these. Like if you're if you're new to the hobby, uh, this might be infuriating to you. But if you are um, been in the hobby for a long time, it's even more fucking infuriating. Nothing has changed. It's been 30 fucking years, GW. Get good. So the trick here is to find all the shit you miss. Like, you know, give it as many... Um, you know, double checks and triple checks as possible. I keep finding little lines on these things. Uh, every every time I take a look at it and scan it with my eyes, you want to get rid of all that bullshit because you don't want to like have it ready to go with these sweet airbrush transitions on them and find all these bullshit mold lines on them. That's the worst. So be patient here. And you'll notice I'm using this technique with an exacto knife. I use an exacto knife for all this stuff. I'm using a dragging technique where I drag or push the blade against the mold lines. I never slice into the mold lines. I scrape them basically, um, except for like a big knob right here. You'll see I'm, I'm, I'm whittling these big knobs off, being very, very careful to keep it level. Um, make sure everything lines up, everything's flush. I'm feeling pretty good about this jetpack. It's looking good. It's obviously a ridiculous death company jump, uh, jump pack with literally all these vials of bloods and purity seals, the most obnoxious jump pack in the game. But we're gonna be showing you how to paint one of these here real soon. Now let's, uh, let's get this thing uh, <laughs> let's let, let, look at this. I, I, I thought I had it uh, found all the mold lines, but this is one hiding underneath the vents uh, that you know you're going to see it. You know, like it's going to fall one time on the table and you're going to see it. It's going to fear you. So I just had to show you that because it was hilarious. Now, here's a problem area with all uh, shoulder pads. This came from the client already trimmed, and you can see here where it makes contact with the sprue on these uh, on the trim of the shoulder pads. If you're not very careful, you're going to leave an indentation that is literally just, it's in there now. Like, unless I go back with modeling putty and, and fix them all, and there, it's going to be there. So don't do that. Be very careful when you remove shoulder pads on the sprue. I'm going to show you another ancient Chinese check, uh, technique for next level painting. I like to glue torsos together for space marines before I even worry about mold lines. Because I can hold them both between my fingers like this. The glue is setting. I can pull my exacto knife out and I can just trim down the bullshit on the sides in one, in one swipe. It's kind of like a technique I've developed for, you know, mass producing these models. 
it kind of it, it say it, it cuts out a step which doesn't look like it saves too much time here but i guarantee if you have 50 of these you know to save you you know straight up tons of time uh now space marine legs anybody who's been in, playing space marines for the last 25 years knows that gw loves putting these hilarious mode lines in, on the inner crotch or region and outer legs of all space marines this is where i'm going to use that dragging technique with the exacto knife and i'm going to scrape off these mold lines it's very simple it's not difficult at all but i also have this other uh proverb that i use where it's like if you can't see the line don't scrape the line so I'm, i can see a few on the inner thigh here but like there's a couple more in the, in the crotch up there that you can't fucking see like uh, you're just never going to see them so i don't worry about them now plasma guns since the dawn of time have been bullshit <laughs> okay plasma has got all the mold lines and all the coils like literally the most bullshit ever you just got to be very subtle when you scrape the exact enough across these you, you don't want to ruin the coils on the plasma gun so once you get it uh set up the way you want and you're feeling pretty good about it you know obviously transition up there to the wrist uh to the shoulder pad the under shoulder pad get all those lines off look how many mold lines are on these models i mean like it's just crazy you just got to pay attention as like I said, with the airbrush being a subtle effect, you really don't want to have to go back and fix a mold line. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna drill out this plasma gun for, for you guys, real quick. This is something I like to do. I drill out all my weapons. I'm gonna score it with the exacto knife, get a little hole set up there. Once I get it nice and centered, I feel good about it. I'm gonna pull my my pin vise out, and this is actually a set that uh, P3 sells. Uh, Privateer Press sells a whole drill bit and brass rod set. Like, these guys are just the best. And I'm drilling out this little hole, making it a nice, and this is the default uh, drill bit size that they come with. The brass rods fit this size. It's just a good deal. You get them really cheap on their website. I recommend checking out eBay or checking out their website, whatever you feel like. I use uh, Amazon for a lot of things, and that's my jam. So, you know, obviously, let's back scrape some of the mold lines off the chainsaw. We got the world's most obnoxious chainsaw here with the little, um, literally like a banner purity seal wrapped across it, like... This project is going to be hilarious. You're about to watch like a Space Marine that takes longer to paint than any other Space Marine in the game. <laughs> Coming in hot, exclusive next level painting. And it's going to be fun. Like I said, these are alternate color schemes. We're not going to be painting them traditional black. We're going to be going with a bone white. We referred to that in a Larian video a couple weeks ago. And we're making it happen now. So obviously Space Marine heads have the same kind of problem. They got these little mold lines that go straight across in the opposite direction. Totally annoying. You want to carefully scrape these off. I apologize for the half primer on these. That's how they came from my boy. Uh, but actually, it helps you in the video kind of see the lines. Sometimes you don't see the lines until you prime it. So it's actually kind of helpful. We're going to mount this guy in a cork. Now, this is not something I traditionally do because it's not really necessary for me. But I want to show you guys, like, this is a technique if you're, if you're cracking out on your hobby, painting one model at a time. Drill the hole out in the bottom. Glue, quickly uh, glue in a uh, brass rod. This is the same set I was telling you about from uh, Privateer Press. And I get a cork. My lady drinks wine. So she says corks to me. Drill a quick hole in the cork. You know, super easy because it's cork. And just jam your, uh, your brass in there. And now you have your model mounted on a really easy handhold that lets you get in all directions. Now this will be handy for this project just because I'm going to be focusing on one model. Uh, and this might be handy for you guys at home. Now, you'll notice he doesn't have his gear on him. That's because I double-sticked it separately here. Because I'm going to be airbrushing and painting these separate colors from the main body. Anyway, like I said, guys, you have plenty of time. Pick up that Privateer uh, uh, Protectate of the of uh, Menoth colors or whatever it's called. We're going to be using 90% of those colors on this model. It's a good deal. Follow along. We'll be doing multiple videos here soon. Thanks for watching. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.